video, we will be doing long division with decimals using the partial quotients method. Like normal, we're going to set up our problem with the box longer on the right side. For now, we're going to ignore the decimal and pretend that we're doing 594 divided by 3. So let's take out 100 groups of 3. 100 times 3 is 300. Subtract. That leaves us with 294. Let's take out 60 groups of 3. 60 times 3 is 180. Subtract. Let's take out 30 groups of 3. 30 times 3 is 90. Subtract. No need to borrow. And lastly, we have 24 left. We know that 3 times 8 is 24, so that brings us down to 0. Like normal, let's go add our partial quotients. They should all be lined up. We have 8 in the 1's place, 9 in the 10's, and 1 in the 100's. Now we're going to go put our decimal back in. So we're going to look at our original number. Starting at the end of that number, how many times do we have to go to the left until we get to the decimal? One time. So in our answer, we're going to move over one time. And our final answer is 19 and 8 tenths. One more problem. Let's set it up. 6.428 divided by 4. Okay, this is a large number. Let's pretend again that this number is 6,428 divided by 4. We're going to ignore the decimal for now. So let's take out 1,000 groups of 4. 1,000 times 4 is 4,000. And subtract. That leaves us with 2,428. Let's take out 500 groups of 4. 500 times 4 is 2,000. Subtract. Let's take out 100 groups of 4. 100 times 4 is 400. Subtract. And that leaves us with 28. We know that 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract. And we're left with 0. Let's go back and add our partial quotients. We have 7 in the 1's place. 0 in the 10's. 6 in the 100's. And 1 in the 1000's. Now, just like before, we're going to go back to our original number and count, starting from the end of the number, how many times we have to move left to get to the decimal. So we move one, two, three spots. So in our answer, we're going to move one, two, three spots. So our final answer is 1.607.